Coming up on this episode of the Talking Matt Podcast, congratulations, we made it to the 10th episode. It's hard to imagine. 10 weeks ago, there was no Talking Matt Podcast. Hard to imagine the world without it. But coming up on this episode, we're going to be talking about Mac OS X Leopard. My thoughts, my review. I've seen it. Stay tuned. You will not want to miss it. Hello, welcome back to the Talking Mac Podcast. Hey, guys, what? I've been to the store. I've been to the Apple store. I played with it. Leopard, I played with it. I, I'm i not going to tell you yet what I liked about it. Now, you've heard trusted names in technology reviews, such as uh, David Polk and Walt Mossberg and and others, but and, and CNET and some others there. But what does it... Now, my name might not be well known but what does the average user that uses a Macintosh what does that user think of the product I'm gonna tell you right now first let's do now I have a little complaint now I I I complain sometimes uh, more frequently than I should and, and I have a complaint about the Apple Store just so you know to a I'm not going to say avoid this Apple Store because it was really nice. Uh, but the Apple Store here in Atlanta, uh, at the perimeter, perimeter mall, and effort and done uh, right on the perimeter. If you go to that mall and you go to the Apple Store there, uh, right beside, I think it's beside Bloomingdale's and Nordstrom's. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, right? In Ash off Ashford Dunwoody Road. If you go to the Apple Store. The internet is slow. I pulled up Safari. It took forever to load the Apple page. Now, I'm not saying it was Safari that's doing it. Safari is faster than Firefox and Camino and... Oh, my God. I, just, I had a t chance to play with today an uh, old Mac OS 9 computer. Internet Explorer for Mac is slow. Oh my God. Macintosh operating system have come a long way. I have not been long with the Macintosh. I've never used a Mac OS 9 computer, so it's my first time today. And I got to tell you, I did not like it at all. Mac OS 10 is a great improvement over OS 9. So, but anyway, the Internet was slow. Slow. It took four. Ever and it made the computer seem slow. The computer I was looking at is the brand new iMac, the one I'm going to get shortly. Upgrade my machine to the iMac, the one I'm going to get shortly, and it's going to come with Leopard. And the internet was slow. It was painfully slow. I was like, I have this at home using Bell South. This the Apple Store. They should get the supercharged stuff. You know, they didn't have that. And also one more complaint. They have like 20 extra employees breathing down your throat from every direction. They're coming at you. Hey, do you want this? Hey, do you want that? Hey, you want this? Hey, you want that? Get rid of some of the employees. There's too many employees. I am sorry. They're breathing down your neck. You, I mean, 20 different employees. Apple Store, Perimeter Mall uh, in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Off Ashford Dunready Road. You know the one if you're from, if, if you live around here. You know the one. Don't go to that one. Go to the Mall of Georgia one. That one's better. Smaller store, but it leaves less room for the 20 other employees. And I was eating in the food court, and I saw like six of them walking around. So I knew when I got to the store, it was going to be some extra ones there. But let's not get into that one, Mary. So let's talk about, let's talk about uh, Leopard. Now, first thing, people, pundits, they hate this. People, reviewers, they hate this. The menu bar. Come on. Give us some credit. I love the menu bar. I cannot stand that that white bar at the top. And I use my Windows computer sometimes for stuff that I cannot do on the Mac, which is hardly nothing. But I do use it from time to time, run it up. I can run it in parallels, or I can boot right into it. And I cannot stand that blue and green bar on Windows. 
and I cannot equally stand that white bar on the Mac. So I am glad they got rid of that. Now with stacks, I had a problem with that. I took the, I went to the application folder, I dragged it to the dock. Oh yeah, here's my next complaint about the Apple Store. They like to load the suckers up with every piece of software for the Mac imaginable, place every icon in the dock, and when it's, it's hard to see stuff, it's hard to add stuff, the computer runs slower, it seems like crap. I mean, they had Word and iWork and Photoshop and Adobe Creative Suite 3 and Aperture and iMovie and this and i that and whatever. And I was like, oh my, and I think they had all the Final Cut Studio on there. On the Mac Mini too. I looked at the Mac Mini and the MacBook laptops and MacBook Pros and the iMacs. I looked at all of them. And I looked at the Fast Mac Pro, which is great. I looked at that too. I was like, oh my god. They got every piece of software imaginable running on this machine. I could not stand it. Alright, when we return after this commercial break, we're going to talk about everything that I like and everything that I don't like. And I'm going to tell you if I would upgrade. Stay tuned. Hello, yes, I'm the host of the Talking Mac Podcast, where I love myself some Mac news and rumors. Now, I've been looking for the perfect blog out there, and I just saw a new startup called the Mac Insider Blog. And they keep you up to date on the Macintosh and app-related news and rumors. Now, it can be found at www.macinsider.tk. That's www.macinsider.tk. It's hard to find a blog that I love. But this new startup here is really cool, so I suggest you go check it out every time of the day and every day, www.macinsider.tk. Hello, welcome back everybody. I'm sorry for dodging, uh, hitting Apple a little bit there. And, d you should have, they should have some machines just laying around, uh, that that's full of that software, but not every computer needs to have 200 different programs running and all in the dock. I could barely see the dog on icons. They look like ants on the screen. If, if you ever been to one, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so the stacks, I took the application folder and I started to drag it to the dock. Mind the other 200 things that were in the dock as well. Um, and I tried to drag it and it would not make room. Now, Apple specifically said that you can drag your own folder to the dock. How am I supposed to drag the folder to the dock? Was it supposed to enable something? Was it supposed to come like that? What was supposed to happen? Whatever was supposed to happen did not happen at the store. I checked different computers. I checked the Mac Pro. I checked the MacBook Pro. I checked the MacBook, the Mac Mini, and the iMac. I checked them all for real. They were all right beside each other. It would not work. I'm sitting here dragging my application folder and dragging, and it's not going to work. Maybe maybe it shouldn't have 200 other icons in the dock. The dock is nice. I like the dock. I like it than the old. I like it better than the old dock. The old little flat whatever. What that? What is it called? It looks like a just a fuzzy part of a screen with icons on the bottom. I love the three-dimensional dock better. Some people don't like it. Whatever. But the stacks and spaces. Now, spaces is awesome. I like spaces. So, I'm not going to upgrade just yet. I will upgrade when I buy the new iMac later on this year. Mm. I would go ahead and upgrade. I'm not going to upgrade my current machine. I'm going to get moved to the Intel. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so that's what I, I'm, I, I would say upgrade. I think the features are there and the operating system runs pretty smoothly. I'll say it doesn't, it does not look rough. It's typical Apple quality and finishing and polishing everything. But like I said, the three complaints I have was Apple Store too crowded. The internet so slow at the Apple Store and, um, the dock was filled with 200 other icons. Okay, let me be real. It was like 40 other icons. I, I've never seen a dock small in my life. I've, I never dragged that much stuff to my dock. Never. Okay. Now that I'm done ranting, I, I give, I give Leopard out of 10, I give it a nine and a half. It is amazing. It's an amazing upgrade. We'll see you next time right here on the Talking Mac podcast. Goodbye.